Hello again, this is Dragonate, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Now, I don't know how many endings are left all in this game, were gone. What could it mean? but I want to find Stanley them all, that's for sure. Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna go... When I don't know, I don't know yet. Two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'll figure something out, I guess. Yet there was not a single person here either. No, apparently there isn't. Of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer. Coming to a staircase, okay, is there Stanley anything different up here? To his boss's office. No, this looks pretty well the same as it did before. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked. Unraveled, Stanley it is shocking. In who orchestrated this? What dark secret was being held from him? It was the narrator. The known was that the key he did the it. Desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, two eight four five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Okay, so I I don't know what the code is. So I'll just randomly Stanley guess. Simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. If he knew that the combo uh -huh. was two eight four five, it would be another story entirely. Okay. But no, no, this is what he was going to do instead. Well, I mean, I I haven't found the code anywhere. You said it yourself, Mr. Narrator. There's no possible way I could know the code. So... Stanley just sat around twiddling his I'm thumb. not twiddling my thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Exactly. I couldn't possibly know. 2845. Hmm. What could the combination possibly be? Oh, 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 oh? Maybe it's one, two, three, four. Come on, three, four. Okay. Two, three, four, eight. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door oh. just opened all by itself. Okay. And Good Stanley job, Stanley. Along with the story. Well, whoop de do. <laughs> oh, Mr. Narrator's getting annoyed there. That's fine. I don't really care too much. Mr. Narrator's kind of a jerk, so... To heck with him. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Yeah, I, I do feel peculiar. In his chest, I, I, I feel... Free to think for himself, to really strange, because that door, I don't know how that door possibly could have opened. Maybe I just randomly guessed the right combination? I don't know. I mean, Stanley doesn't know. What is that? Why is that painted on the ground? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that Not this time! I'm gonna go escape. this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I don't trust you. You're kind of a jerk, so... The door behind him was not shut. No thanks. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Do I? At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his yep. death. Oh, glowing red. That's not usually a good thing. Okay, so if I go back now, is it going to make any difference? Eh, probably not. <gasps> what happened? Ah! Okay, I'm alive. That didn't break my feet. That was a long way down. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay, wait, wait, what do I do? Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision. I'm stuck! If only Stanley could jump. Come on, Stanley, jump! 
long. Jump, jump! Cutting the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted uh. this violent end to his brief and shallow life. No, 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 please. Ah! Huh? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. What? In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, uh -huh. killing him instantly. That was an image I don't think I needed to have in my mind. Thank you. Okay, so I can go that way. What's this way? Just boxes? Are you Mariella? Was that Mariella speaking? We never did hear her voice. We just know of her. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Not much, obviously. Is there something around here in the darkness? Probably not. When every path what is this? you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? That makes sense. Wait, what? what is going on here? There's a... There's like an invisible wall right here. I can't go to the left anymore. That's weird. And here. Is it something to do with that plaque that says nature paintings? What is this? This is so weird. Oh, is that, is that Stanley's office? The office layout. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development, though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Okay. This is Stanley's computer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I type on it? No? Okay. These are office doors, I guess. Can they open? Oh, well, that'd be cool if they could open. I don't know where they would go, but... Why can't I get up there? The two doors. The set of two open doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it. An exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Okay. This is filing cabinets. It's the office computers. Employee database. Okay. Buttons. Button sounds. The selection of the sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Can make some music with this. Okay. Here's the credits. If anyone wants to look at the credits. So does that mean that this is the true ending to this game? Credits usually means the true ending. This is boss's office. Okay, well we've seen that one. What's this? Is that... Oh, that's probably like how it was first made. How it started out anyway. A little bit more added then even more. Okay, office clock, beautiful. And on this way we have the employee lounge, the mind controls facility, underground, an early version of the underground portion of the game. Cool. And what's in here? Narration outtakes. Kevin Brighting, the voice of the narrator, recorded dialogue for the entire game Roughly three separate Where times. Were all of his 
over the two years of development. They're throwing a surprise party for him for all his button pushing. Does that sound plausible to you? Poor Stanley. These are clips from early takes that were not used in the final game. I'm I'm going to turn up the uh um well, I guess the master volume, I'll turn down the music, but So that the voice can be heard. Stood on the roof. Can we hear that voice? Oh, that's hard to hear still. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool nonetheless. What else is there? This is kind of neat. It's just showing how the game was, uh, was created. How it started, like kind of the different steps to it. Freedom ending. This is the very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha. What is this? Oh. oh okay, that's just a window. When you first look at it, you can't see that the line in the middle, so it looks like it's kind of an open doorway. You get closer, there's that line. That's weird. The countdown desk. One of the desks from an early countdown, or sorry, early version of the countdown ending. What? Oh. Come on, come back up. There we go. Oh, okay, I can't press it? Okay. Freedom ending. This is a freedom ending as it existed in beta. This is a monitor room elevator. For a time, the elevator in the monitor room could go up or down with freedom above and count down below. We abandoned this when players found it too difficult to remember what was up and what was down and placed the two endings together instead. Huh, okay. And this is the countdown room, an early version of it. That's the exit. I don't want to go in the exit yet. What goes this way? What is this? Zending model. The Zending went through many iterations. This room represents the fourth version of the ending, and we thought it was complete, but decided to abandon and change it again shortly before launch. Huh, okay. Game is now paused. Escape menu. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realize this is what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. Okay then. Zending levers. These levers were originally part of the zending. The player would pull a lever and the narrator would describe what color lever they had pulled. Can I pull any of them now? No? What was this? Trailers. We ran four major teaser trailers over the course of the game's development, each meant to convey something about the spirit of the game. This is the first one, released in May 2012. It features a series of broken rooms and the voice of the narrator, informing viewers that he is pre preparing a new version of the Stanley Parable. Huh. Okay. Stare at a bunch of lockers. And stuff. Okay. Interesting. What goes this way? There is. Oh my goodness, there's a lot to explore in this. Meeting room. Oh, jeez. Option. One option, two options, one option, vent. Maintenance layout. A flow of hallways following the first two doors was important to get right, since players will replay them so many times. We discussed a number of designs, but ultimately it was a simple version that won out. Okay, then. So, one option. Okay, first choice. Um, obey staircase. Disobey lounge. Same thing. Same thing. Um, okay, then. Anyway. The apartment timer. In a previous version of the choice leading to the apartment ending, 
A timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Okay. Does that mean they got rid of that ending? Or is the ending still there, but you do it in a different way? The cargo lift was always intended to offer the choice of staying on or jumping to a different path. However, after this early version, we decided we also wanted the option of the player falling to their death. Okay, then. That's the cargo lift again. Oops. This second version is functionally the same as what's in the final game, but we wanted it to look more like a place where cargo was actually stored. The office. Okay. Green light. War zone. War zone. What is that? Uh, in early development, uh, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens, the action game would become sentient, and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Oh, that would be funny, actually. That would be pretty f fun. Okay, what's this? This is a maintenance room. An early version. There's the copy machine. And more stuff from the office. What is that? Will the game feature capybaras? Oh, wait, what? Dear narrator, with, oh, wait, 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 okay, those are just different messages, questions, stuff, okay. Narrator emails. After the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these in further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. Okay, what's this? The lounge, an early version. More offices. Oh, that's behind glass. Stanley's office. Well, three different versions of it? Okay. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. The first was created in November 2011, second in March 2012, and the third in February 2013. What is that? Game design mock-up. This is a level that William, the level designer, sent David the writer as a kind of audition piece. The strength of this level got William hired to design the full game. Though much of the environment has changed, the basic layout from this mock-up is still in the game. Okay. There's a lot in here. I, d I don't know if I even actually went through all of it or not. I'm going to go take a quick look back down this way. To the other side. Okay, yeah, I did. Okay. I don't know if that was super interesting for you guys or not, but... It was interesting for me. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Uh-huh. Do I turn it off? Eh, I don't know if I should. Okay, whatever. Let's turn it off. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. True. That's deep. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. What are you talking you about? Escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat Oh, that's what that as long as you move forward, picture you said. Will someone else's path. Stop now. It'll be your only true choice. Okay, do, okay, okay. Okay. I'll do it. She said to hit quit. Okay. I did it! Yay me!
Is that the right choice? I don't know what would have happened otherwise. But what happens if I go begin the game now? Is there anything gonna be changed from the beginning? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley That's worked not. for the office. All of Everything his seems to be the same. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. I guess. Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to okay. a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I don't think anything's different, so I'll end this video here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, let me know if that was something that was um, actually interesting to you or not, seeing all that there. Um, that is part of the game, but I guess that's not really um, gameplay so much as looking at how the game was created and the credits and stuff. Um, it was interesting to me to see it. But yeah, let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video. God bless.